A while ago, I made a video called, Can You Put Two Different Graphics Cards in One PC? It's got about 9,000 views right now. I'm very happy about that. But um, people still in the comment section sometimes, or just generally, think I might be smart. And I don't like that. I want to prove you wrong, that I'm not smart. So in this video, I'm not only going to add another graphics card saying, can you put three different cards in the same PC? I'm going to double that and make it even stupider. Can you put four, well not double that, I'm going to double the amount that I'm adding. I'm going to double the original amount. Can you put four different graphics cards in one PC? One of them is, I guess, bent. One of them is so old, it won't even get recognized as a real graphics card. But let's uh, let's introduce the uh, the poor test subjects today. So, card number one is the GTX Titan X, also known as GTX 980 with the Titan X cooler on it. But that's besides the point. So let's get our Titan X as our first card. Now I have test fitted this to make sure it at least fits in the system. I dropped the I dropped the thing I needed to install it. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new one here. I do not like thumb screws. So GTX Titan X installed. But we have this little slot here. You see the slot spacing, you can barely see it, but the spacing in the slots is very bad. So we need a one slot card, and that's where this stupid piece of garbage comes in. We're just going to Put that right in there. Ah, perfect fit. And get ourselves a thumb screw to not even hold it in because this card is one slot, so nothing holds it in. They call it a thumb screw, though 99% of this time it's a screwdriver screw. So, that is the second card. Our next, that's like an FX 4350 or something like that. But that's not the point. The next card, the GTX 1660 Ti. If you think I couldn't waste any more expensive hardware, GTX 1660 Ti slots perfectly in and fits right in there. Thumb screw turned into regular screw. That is three graphics cards, that's crazy just as it is. But I'm even crazier than that, and I'm going to put in my GTX 1060. Three gig, I, mind you. Uh, this is a GTX 1060, despite what it looks like. It's an HP OEM model. Should really be using like a test bench for this, because gravity... I dropped it. Now, what would be the point of having four GPUs in one system? Well, I mean, like, mining. Now, these all take power and stuff like that. And that's, <laughs> I guess that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm going to wire this up so sketchy for absolutely no reason. Do not try this at home. If, I, if you weren't obvious enough, you will probably kill every component in your system. The question is, can you have... Four different, entirely different GPUs in one system. Well, yeah, I mean, they're obviously in there, but will they run? Well, it turns on, and I haven't heard a beep yet. I installed the speaker. Monitor turns on. That's pretty great. So, what would be the actual point of doing anything like this? Well, obviously, like, you know, graphics card mining, where it's just using compute. Maybe recording where you want to use one graphics card that you like more, like a GTX 1080 Ti. It's insane. It's got insane performance. But you want to have a higher quality recording experience. So you use a GTX 1660 Ti for recording because it's got that new Turing encoder that you love so much because it's super high quality. That would be another option, but then you have two other cards. There's honestly not much point to any of this. Maybe a display adapter. Who knows? That's that's the point. Let's log in to Windows and see what's going on one second. <coughs> All right, so Task Manager does recognize each one of these cards, well, as a card. It's got the 1660 Ti, 
the 980 and the 1063 gig. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it says. <coughs> so they are recognized, but you notice I have four cards. And we talked about this before. Let's go to Device Manager and see what it comes up as. Okay, I don't know why. Uh, what? So you can clearly see that is that is the drivers on this card. All right, can you even see that? One sec. I want to make sure you can even see that. That thing is that is so funny to me. The drivers on the card are so spectacularly mega broken that they come up as NVIDIA Titan V J H H Special Edition. That's an FX 53, like 47, 90, 12, 27, 28, 39, I don't know. That's the point. I d and then if I try to update driver, it becomes Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. I have no clue what's going on. I think it's just some stupid thing with driver signing. I don't know. But last time, it was Quadro RTX 8000. So at least it was in the right family. Um, this card is stupid, and it makes me laugh, and I have two of them, and they're both stupid. But apparently I have a Titan VJHH Special Edition. And that's it. What, I mean, I'll, let's run a game. Let's, let's see if we can launch, like, PUBG or something. What do I have on here? I have Fortnite, <laughs> and I have Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, a real, real great experience. Do I have anything else? Uh, no, I have, I have a Steam drive. So we're going to launch Steam and see if... I don't know. L let's launch MSI Afterburner. Because I want to see if it recognizes four cards, and I want to see if it if it puts. So let's um, so it recognizes the first 1063 gig as the main card, 16983 cards. So let's see if we can get on the on-screen display. Oh, it only lets you do GPU one and two. It doesn't let you do GPU three and four. No, no, it does let you do GPU three. Let's see, can I get GPU three usage? There we go, GPU three usage. All right. Okay. I just want to see how MSI Afterburner and this game, I love the lighting here, just react to how stupidly stupid this is. So, what do we have here? Let's, um, let's get a game that's absolutely going to run horribly. Oh, uh, yes, PUBG, the game that absolutely hates when you have, no matter what, it just hates when you have multiple GPUs. Like, Crossfire doesn't only not work. It works negatively where you get half the frame rate playing PUBG, and it's why is it downloading? All right, I'll be back in one minute when uh, PUBG decides to work. I just want to see how MSI Afterburner and PUBG deal with the fact that there's four different stupid graphics cards in this system. Okay, I don't cheat. I get it. Now, why am I making this video? Why not? Oh, no one cares. Yo, just listen to these jet engines, dude. It's not even that bad. Keep on waiting, waiting, waiting for PUBG to launch. Alright, so our game launched and we have GPU 1, 2, and 3. Which GPU is being used? It's GPU 3, which is probably the 16th. What? No. What? No. What? No. What is GPU 3? The game froze. I don't know which one GPU 3 is, but it's the one being used. GPU 3 is the 980. Oh! So the game is running off the 980. It's just getting a solo first person. You know what? Let's play a match. I'm playing a match because I'm tired and I want to win. I'm playing a match. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump into a terrible. So it's running off the GTX 980, which brings up a good point. The GTX 980, I don't know how it compares to a 1660 Ti. I'm guessing it's much worse. But let's say you love your 980, or in this case, a Titan X, and you want to use it to game. Because, I don't know, it's overclocked to like 90,000 gigahertz and you love it. But you know that the, and you want to record the live stream, but you know the encoder sucks complete butt. Pop in a GTX 1660, your game runs on the 980, and you can record at no compromises. And now I could show that off, but everyone knows what I'm talking about. It's pretty easy. The fact of the matter is that, GT, that PUBG has literally no issues with just two and, well, a half, I guess I could say, GPUs just sitting in the system 
doing absolutely nothing. Which also brings up another point. Those other two GPUs, two and a half, could be doing something else. Maybe running a game on a different screen. Or you could, oh, that's another thing, virtualization. This is a 12-core CPU. This is a Threadripper. Make three VMs. One with a 980, one with a 1060, one with a 1660, and have three relatively decent gaming PCs right next to each other, all in one giant case. And then assign, you know, keyboard, mouse, and monitor to each, and it might just work. I don't know. That's, that's the point. I want to play a game of PUBG. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop now because basically all it's doing is running on a 980. We know how that is. I've made a whole video about the 980 that you should go watch because it's actually really good and it has about a thousand views. So that's the point. This is going to be the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to play this game of PUBG because I'm bored and tired. But um, yeah, so yeah, you could put four different cards in the same PC. It won't do anything good. It won't do anything bad, per se. It, might, it won't do anything bad. It won't do anything good. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching this stupid video. Hope you kind of enjoyed. Um, I've just been doing whatever I want recently because uh, I'm bored and I have a lot of hardware. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please like and please subscribe because I need more subscribers. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.